Hello guys, this is Nerdmist and today's video is going to be the Q&A session video where I'll be answering all the questions which have asked me on the video which I uh, announced the Q&A session and uh, I know the video of this Q&A session has been delayed a lot. The thing is that I really was a bit busy in a lot of other things as well so I couldn't get time uh, to make this video and I really apologize for that and I'm really happy that you have been waiting for this video for so long so nevertheless today we'll start answering most of all the questions which you have asked so let's start so the first question which we have today is from Alam so the question is the first question he has asked is what do you think about the future of your channel so this is actually a very easy question to answer uh, the thing is that uh, if you check on YouTube the famous uh, personalities for Beyblade are basically BBG and they have around 1.5, 1.6 million subscribers. So I personally don't even see uh, that thing as a competition. I see that actually as a growth potential because if there are 1.6 million people who are into Beyblade and, I like, and they like Beyblade, so there is obviously a area, a lot of area for me to grow and these people to come across my channel and subscribe. So there is uh, endless amount of growth potential available for my channel as well to grow. Uh, depends upon how I uh, create and maintain the content. So the next question is by him only. He thinks, uh, he is asking, do you think now the competitiveness of Beyblade from BB generation is getting higher? Uh, yes, actually, because the amount of uh, customization which has increased uh, since actually I would say since GT and now a lot of in-depth in DB as well has uh, reduced the thing where set amount of combos only would uh, win us the battles. Now we can have certain uh, newly developed combos as well to uh, counter these things and uh, win the tournaments as well. So that is actually a very huge topic but I would say yes, it has definitely hired the competitiveness. Next question is can you make a video talking about competitive uh, stuff for DB favorites? Yes, definitely I would do that and I would really love to. The only thing is that I require some of uh, the DB ways in my collection and once I get to test them, I would 100% uh, release a competitive uh, video where I would uh, explain you all how you can win tournaments also which happen in India and as well. So moving on to the next one. The next one is from Pranav. Uh, he just has one question saying, is there any website or any place you know where we can still buy fun school Beyblades? Um, there were actually two, three websites. One was Fend.com, one was Foscry. But the thing is that now it's uh, almost up and I don't think so anywhere a stock of these Beyblades which were released by fun schools are anymore available. Maybe a rare luck case scenario if you get it then that's your luck actually. Next question is from AMV Koranai. So the question is, uh, the question which he is asking is, is there, this is a dare, show us your face without beard. Okay, so <laughs> I haven't done that before, but yeah, I would uh, <laughs> definitely try it once and uh, let's see, maybe at 10k we will do that. So the next thing is which he is asking is what was your first ever bay, both fake and original. So the fake uh, Beyblade actually I first bought uh, recently only which was the Lord Spring Beyblade which I unboxed on my channel and my first original Beyblade was actually a plastic generation Beyblade, actually two of them. One was Bronzer Auto Change uh, Balancer and one was Trigger S. So that was basically like 300 rupees each so that time I had purchased the two of them for 600 and that really created a lot of uh, havoc at my home. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so the next question is from, I don't know, the name, person's name is Dot. It's just a Dot. So, which other more DB favorites will you add in your catalog? So, right now the plans are to add Dynamite Burial and uh, Mira, uh, not Mirage, Vanish Fafnir. After that, definitely I would go for Guilty Longerness as well and uh, I would definitely try to uh, add that uh, latest bearing dash set also so that people in India can get it. Uh, the next one is from Arnav. The question is, 
what is your favorite season of beyblade burst anime and uh, the second question is what is your combo for db competitive currently currently db competitive i'm not uh, that much familiar with so i just cannot uh, tell you any sort of combo i really like uh, cyclone ragnarok a lot in db but not any sort of specific combo i'm right, moving to the first question it says what is your favorite season of beyblade burst anime so my favorite season of beyblade burst anime i would say the first season was okay later on i really didn't like it because it was just like the latest season is the pretty idiotic for me obviously for kids it is fantastic actually so i would say the first season was uh, fair enough good because that was the first introduction to burst and all okay so let's move on to the next one it is nutan singh uh, he is asking do you think the beyblade that's coming in with metal drift in the evolution is the evolution of bahamut yes 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 definitely i uh, 90% think it is basically a evolution of bahamut the only uh, thing which is stopping me from thinking that is the evolution of bahamut because we already have roar bahamut in db so i don't understand what else can it be uh, i have one more speculation uh, thinking that it can be uh, rashad beyblade also uh, a balanced type but who knows uh, i am not sure but it yes definitely looks like bahamut a lot next question it is from beyblade rockstar who inspired you to start your yt channel my inspiration to start a yt channel was uh, basically i just had two beyblade burst base that time which was uh, longinus uh, which was pre unboxed and it was just released in india also i think so i had that time valtriac so valtriac v2 this yes, and um, it was just night time and i i don't know out of the blue i didn't have a tripod also that day and i just uh, held my camera you, if you want you can definitely go to my first video and see it even the name of the channel was different that time and the intro is also completely different so i just held the cam phone ca phone into the place where we put our keyboard and adjusted it according to the table and made the first video and that's how i just thought that, yeah i can also make videos and provide a lot of information which i personally uh, gain from seeing other uh, youtubers and even competitive leaders so next one will volcano elias okay so the store questions are uh, it's like it depends upon the availability if i get them definitely i will make those babies available for sure next who inspired you to keep your beard like woodwork <laughs> actually it's not uh, any sort of inspiration and the beard also i don't do anything to keep it like this it's just uh, by default it grows that way that's it so that is why people think that it's like wolverine but uh, it's not something i'm doing okay so the question is next from satyam singh as we can see that takara to me is pushing beyblade boss franchise further and further do you think Beyblade Burst series will finally come to an end in the coming two three years, just like Plastic and MFB, or they will just continue with Burst for many more years to come. Yes, that is a very good question, actually, Satyam. I personally would feel that they should take a break now. I don't want Beyblade to end. I just want them to take a break, analyze, research, do R and D, and then come up with something new rather than just pushing Burst more. But uh, i am thinking after db also a little bit of extension can be there possible it is quite possible to see a lot of uh, more beyblades coming but i feel that they should take a break here and maybe focus on r&d for beyblades and then they can promote other toys which they have in the takatomi line so moving to the next one is from ganesh prana question so it is when will you again bring dynamite belier to your store bro As I said, Dynamite Belial. Please just uh, wait a uh, few more days. Actually, the parcel is also on the way. I am also not exactly sure when the parcel will come. Lot of procedures are there in between, but make I am sure that by October, hundred percent the store would be updated with Dynamite Belial and Vanish Fafnir. Getting the next one, it is from Shushma Singh. What was your favorite antagonist in all Belial saga, and what did you? like about him my favorite beyblade antagonist uh, i would say definitely brooklyn uh, because brooklyn is someone who whose existence has uh, shot up kai's kai's value to a next extent i would say 
and the second one i would say is very close enough to brooklyn is rayuga because right now just saying rayuga gives me a uh, goosebumps on my body because rayuga is just so dynamic and so powerful i just cannot uh, express i just feel like i uh, the determination and the output he has we should all apply that in real life as well to our day to day activities next uh yeah what do you do for a living it is from arkman innovation so for a living basically actually i am a, um, a teacher i teach maths and physics and uh, i would like to pursue in this field only as for my qualifications i have completed my engineering uh, in uh, electronics and uh, i am currently doing bed also that is bachelor of education and let's see further i we would do something else as well but right now yes i am for living i, I work as a teacher okay so the next question is about you like your age etc my age my age i am 24 years old <laughs> okay that is a question from the uh, master gamer okay the next one uh, so we would just uh, take two more questions and then wrap up this episode and then in the next episode we'll continue so this uh, is uh, from shubham uh, shubham is asking which is your favorite third season blade breakers character and beyblade third season beyblade blade breakers character i would say definitely it's um, if you talk about anime i would say ray uh, because uh, ray and rigar ji because when the battle between ray and kai uh, takes place the amount of uh, muscle bulking ray shows and all i just uh, lost it there for and i was like completely obsessed with ray and even when he battles gigas also but his beyblade is different obviously uh, it is trigger Ma- ms that time he battles crusher and um, if you talk about real life then it's basically drasil g uh, because drasil g is the only uh, g revolution blade breakers beyblade with something different in its tip it is basically a, a metal ball tip rather than having a semi flat which is for all other beyblades so there i would definitely say drasil g is something i would uh, definitely consider in real life but anime hands down ray and trigger g for sure so yes so that's it for today guys we wrap up this session i i don't think will about 12 minutes will go but don't worry uh, no matter how many parts it takes i would answer all your questions that's my commitment to all you guys who have subscribed and have been watching my youtube uh, channel for so long uh, so this is definitely the least possible thing i can do for you all if you uh, wish to ask anything else also the video is still on the parts are being created so you can definitely ask so that's for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and i feel that from this q and a sessions we can a lot connect with each other and know about uh, our likings and differences and our perspectives as well so that's for today guys take care and bye bye